Okay, today we're going to be talking about neurons. Uh, neurons are brain cells. They're located in the brain, but they do a lot of things. Anytime we ever th make a thought, anytime we ever move anything in our body, it's because these neurons have uh, made connections in this complex network, and these connections make up everything that we ever think. Anytime we move our body, it's all because of neurons. For example, if I were to tell you to think of a tap dancing squirrel, uh, despite the fact that I assume you've never seen one, you would be able to picture that because of this connection of neurons that have connected in a new way now and they're firing uh, and imagining a tap dancing squirrel. But they're located in our brain and they do a lot of things, so thoughts, movements, all have to do with neurons. Uh, they go from our brain, but they can be very large or even very small. Uh, so the ones that are in our brain that are making the connections more uh, cognition, thinking, logic-based connections can be very small since they just have to connect to other brain cells uh, within the brain in a small area. But also, anytime we ever move uh, a body part, those neurons in our brain have to fire one neuron that goes all the way from our brain down the spinal cord to whatever we're moving, like our fingers. And then another neuron will take the information back from the fingers up to the brain. So. Neurons can be very small in the case of if they're talking to a, a teeny bit in the brain, or they can be very large if they're going from our brain telling our fingers to move. And it's the combination of how they're firing that lets us to make sense of everything that we know. So all of our consciousness, everything of what we know that we are is because of uh, these neurons that are firing back and forth in different ways. So now we're going to get into what a neuron actually is and what it looks like. Uh, so I'm going to draw a neuron. It be starts out looking sort of like an egg. Wow. There's the egg. And it has little arms that go out from the egg. The egg, or what looks like an egg, is the cell itself. And then it has arms. Uh, the larger part of the egg is the cell body. And then the, the tiny inside part is the nucleus. And you ought to know, just know that from normal cellular anatomy from other classes. So what I just drew was called the dendrites. And the dendrites accept information from other cells. So other cells will be talking to the neuron and the information will go in from the dendrites and it'll come into the cell body. And then in the middle of the cell body is the nucleus. So the information goes into the cell and then it goes out uh, through a, almost like a really long dendrite, but it's called the axon. And that's the part that can be really big uh, or really small. So and then at the end of the axon is called the axon terminals, which are very similar to dendrites, just at the other end. So the information comes uh, from another neuron, so that'll look a lot like this one, and then uh, from the axon terminals of the other neuron, where information goes away from the neuron, it'll accept it from the, to the dendrites. The information will go from the dendrites to the cell body, and then across the axon to the axon terminals to the next neuron, and, and that's how we make sense of, of everything. That's how neurons fire. Within the axon itself, uh, especially in the longer neurons, since the axon can be a few feet long, or even more than a, a couple feet long, if it's going from, say, your toes to your brain, uh, you want those signals to go as fast as possible. So what happens is there's these little sheaths, they're called myelin sheaths, which is this fatty insulating tissue uh, and when the signal goes through the axon, it goes really fast through the myelin sheath, and then it slows down uh, in the in-between part of the axon, which is called a node of Ranvier, even though it looks like node of Ranvier. It's uh, Ranvier. And that allows the message to go really fast through the axon. Within each of the myelin sheaths, the thing that actually creates the myelin sheath is a little teeny cell within each myelin part that lives in the axon. Um, called a Schwann cell. It's located in each of the pieces of myelin, and its only job is to create the myelin. So there's one more here. So the Schwann cells produce the myelin, which is the fatty tissue that lets the axon, lets the message through the axon travel a lot faster. And just to sum everything up, so we've learned about neurons. Neurons are brain cells cells in the brain, which means that they control what we think, they also control even movements. So they go, they are always located in the brain, but they can also move to other places like uh, our fingers or wherever that we're moving. 
they communicate by the first place a signal will go will be to the dendrites. It goes from the dendrites to the cell body uh, and then there's a place at the beginning of the axon called an axon hillock, which which we haven't talked about yet. Uh, but it, it decides whether or not to send a signal. So signals come in from the dendrites to the cell body and then based on, which we'll learn about in the next lesson, based on the size of that signal, the axon hillock says whether or not it's going to send a signal across the axon to the next neuron. And if the axon hillock says yes to send a signal, then the signal goes across the axon to the axon terminals. And as it's going across the axon, it goes really fast through the myelin sheath then slows down a little bit in the node of Ron VA, and then really fast across the myelin sheath, slows down really fast, slows down really fast, slows down, across the axon terminal and the back dendrites. And it's that combination uh, that makes up all the